Hey everyone, it's time for a full review regarding the Note 9. I'm sorry for being a bit late. This video was supposed to come out last week. I was out on vacations, therefore I had more time to spend with this mobile, especially the camera. And I have a different opinion overall regarding the Note 9 now. It was a different experience for me using this Note 9 compared to the S9 or the Note 8. And in order to fully explain how I felt about this phone, regarding my review i've divided this video into three main categories the first being the hardware the second being the software and the camera the third being the overall performance of this device so first of all let's begin with the hardware this phone has a great build quality from the curved edge display and this display is the world's best display in my opinion to a very fast processor uh, from Snapdragon 845 or the Samsung own Exynos which is really fast in my opinion this phone is exceptional uh, this phone also feels a bit heavy in the f in the hand but it won't bend it's really strong uh, you should avoid dropping this phone altogether because the phone screen is really expensive it will cost around one third of the phone's cost so better be careful put a protector put a case in the back and you also be getting the glass back a glass front on the bottom you'll be getting a headphone jack the s pen i will be coming back to this in a moment on the sides you'll be getting a power volume the dreaded bixby, bixby button and the volume rockers so uh, that's regarding the phone Coming to the main hardware components, it has 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of memory and you won't feel this phone is having less space in the phone. This phone has a 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of memory which is more than enough for at least my usage. I'm hoping you'll also be able to use this primarily and if you are still running out of the storage, there's a extra memory card option you can put over here uh, either a dual sim or a memory card so that would be great for all heavy users also uh, in the back you're getting a fingerprint reader this is not the fastest fingerprint reader but compared uh, to the other phones this is okay this is much more secured so uh, do register a fingerprint reader all the time and while discussing the hardware let's not forget about the battery the battery is 4000 milliamp battery which will give you enough days work i have been using this phone since morning and it has been giving me it's giving me around 13 hours till now and it's still showing it will be giving me further 13 hours so overall this has been great on some heavy day it gives me around 18 hours it also gave me around 20 hours yesterday i will be uploading a snap screenshot of that so uh, this was superb for my use at least and then coming to the main feature of the note 9 the bluetooth paired s pen yes this is the bluetooth paired s pen which is great uh, i can open camera for this if I just keep pressing it, I can take pictures, I can take a selfie as well. I took this on my vacations and I took a tripod from Samsung and this was superb as I was only using the S Pen to take pictures and it removes the blurry effect uh, uh, when your hand shakes a lot. This was really good. Other than that, I've been using the S Pen for my office work, for writing, jotting down points and taking uh, offline notes which is a great feature of the note I, what I love about this note 9 is the stylus if you are having a purple stylus the color of the note would be purple if you are having black then you have the option to change it to white so this has been great I have the yellow stylus with the ocean blue color and I can write it in yellow color so that's been super for me and then now coming to the main feature of any phone that is a software 
the phone came out with Android 8.1. In my opinion, Samsung should have opted for the Android 9, the latest one, but it's how they do it. I'm hoping the S10 will come with the Android 9, so therefore, in the month of March, we all will be getting the Android version 9. So stay tuned for that. And with this, you will also be getting Samsung Experience 9.5, which is great, by the way. It's lag free. The Samsung Experience 9 was lag free in the Note 8, so I'm expecting 9.5 to be a bit better. It's really fast. I haven't seen any lag till now in this device. And other than that, uh, there's an iris scanner, there's an intelligent scan which comprises of iris scanner and facial lock which is super, which is really fast. It opens the phone, it's, it's a security feature that you can use uh, other than the fingerprint reader for banking purpose, for other purposes as well. So this is great. The banking, the other apps have not implemented the intelligence uh, scan properly, but uh, regard for my Samsung Pay, I'm using the intelligence scan. It has been great. Other than that, uh, the overall software is really good of this phone. I'm just waiting for the Android 9, and I will be giving you my views of the Android 9 later on when it's released properly, not in the beta version. I'm coming to the camera, the camera is superb. I'm uploading the pictures I took on the vacations. It covers the night photography, it covers, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. It covers the daylight videos, video stabilization. The noise cancellation was also great. Just see the videos, just see the pictures up next and judge yourself how you thought about this a camera experience from the Note 9. I will be uploading a vlog as well uh, regarding my Maldives trip. I recorded everything from the Note 9. So that would be my camera experience for all of you guys to see. And lastly, the overall performance of this device, in my opinion, it's worth the $1000. Rather than spending $500, $600 on a cheaper version like OnePlus, you should opt for this one. In my opinion, this has the best camera right now. It has the best screen overall. In the P20 Pro, you will be getting a really good camera, but not the good, a good screen. Nor you will be getting a wireless charger. I'm using the wireless charger daily. I've hardly used a charger since the wireless technology came out and that has been exceptional. Also if you want a detailed review regarding the Note 9 trips, uh, trips and tricks I will be uploading that as well so stay tuned. Uh, other than that I just lo I love the battery feature of this phone. It's giving me a day's work so that's a lot for me. I used to charge Note 8 twice a day uh, S9 I charge it twice a day and I'm thinking to just shut down my S9 and keep this as my primary phone I'm waiting for the Mate 20 as well because that will be having a larger battery so I would I can't wait to test that out as well and overall if you are looking to buy a good phone this is the perfect phone for all of you so it's my recommendation that you should opt for the Note 9 or if you want to wait for the S10 then that's wait till you have to wait till Feb or March. So that's your opinion. 
uh, this is it regarding the note 9 full review uh, i hope to see you again soon if you like this video give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel it will help me a lot thank you take care